Hello, YouTube. It is sent here again this weekend from His Gifted Angel. And today, for this video, I've actually hopefully posted at least two videos. I was trying to do three. Really just not happened this weekend, but I got two out. So I'm actually very, very proud of myself. Again, excuse my voice, you guys, if my voice sounds a little bit scratchy. My voice still has not gotten back to, to normal after I have been sick for this week. So I apologize for that. Just bear with me, you guys. But welcome for the third week in our one word collaboration that is hosted by Jane's Crazy Life and Tina's Crafty Life. All of the descriptions will be down below. So make sure you check out everybody who's playing along. I have had so much fun during this collaboration. I have tried techniques that I have not done in a while. I have played around with some tools and some supplies that I have not touched in a while. And I have just, I have been loving it. So <clears throat> without further ado, you guys, this week's word was washi tape. Now, I have to tell you, washi tape, although I have, you know, a good bit, is not one of my most favorite things to play with. And that's really because I don't really know how to use it. I mean, I've seen people do all types of cute things and, you know, it's just, but washi tape has just not been one of the things that I do. So this challenge, this one was a, this one was a challenge for me, but I'm glad that I I I, I decided to do this collaboration because I think it's taught me something new and some different ideas of what I can do with washi tape. So I had fun, you guys. I had lots of fun. So I want to show you guys the project, the products, excuse me, that I used this time around. So first off, for my washi tape. I use um, Tim Holtz um, little tissue tape in the, I don't know if this is the crackle one, honestly, or if this was, or if this one like was for Halloween and it was spider webs. I use it as spider webs because I actually ended up doing a Halloween project this time around because Halloween's coming up and I'm trying to get in the Halloween groove, you guys. So I kind of just, I'm not sure if this is the crackle one. Um, I have this for so long. Or if this is actually like a Halloween themed one, I'm not sure, but that's the one that I use. And then I just use these cute little white and black polka dot washi tapes. So I use those. I use some distress inks and I actually use the distress inks to color my Tim Holtz tissue tape. Um, and I'll show you guys that obviously, but I use Distressed ink and black soot, carved pumpkin, and ripe persimmon. So those are the distressed inks I use. And these actually are for another project. So I'm not even sure why these are on my desk. I'm going to move those out of the way. Um, and then I also use... Oh, you guys, I think I put them back. I'm sorry. Hold on one second, you guys. Okay, here it is. Okay, so I also use for my project some Tim Holtz ephemera, and this is uh, Curiosities. This is the Halloween themed one that I believe came out 2016. So, 2016. So, I use a couple of pieces out of that. And I tell you guys, I had so much fun playing. So, what I did this time around, I actually made an ATC set, right? And here are, I made five. I was originally going to make four. And then I had some little pieces of washi tape left over. So I kind of, you know, I'm going to show you guys what I did with that. So here's one that I made. And what I did was I took that Tim Holtz tissue tape. And I used my Distress inks to kind of color that up a little bit. Because I didn't want it to be, I didn't have any Halloween themed washi tape. But then I saw this and I was like, oh, you know what? I can just, you know, ink this, whatever color I wanted. So I used those colors and inked those up. And I striped the washi tape in the background in a diagonal uh, way. And then I actually, those little, let me bring it up a little closer to you guys. Because 
Do you see that green, gorgeous sparkle on there? That is from Lindy Stamp Gang, and it is a Starburst and Freaky Frankenstein. Um, Lindy's is actually my favorite um, go-to sprays. I have Glimmer Mist. I have the, I have a few of the Heidi Swaps. I have you know different varieties, but the Lindy's are my favorite because they're the sparkle in them are gorgeous. They never clog on me. I have not one had. I have not had one clog on me yet. So I love their products. They're awesome. Um, so I used some of that Tim Holtz primer there, and this is just a little witch. And I just put one of the Tim Holtz ch um, chit chats in the seasonal. It says witch. And then this is also a little sticker here. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. This little sticker here is also from Tim Holtz. <clears throat> so. That's the first ATC that I popped up with. And then here is this one. And it just has some of that ephemera again. And it just says beware on this one. So pretty much the same, you guys. Just different, you know, ephemera that I used. And then this one is some more of that ephemera. And it just says frightful from the Tim Holtz Chit Chat. And then this one here, just again, some more ephemera. I use another one of those little Tim Holtz stickers, and it says terror on there. And then, so, the leftover washi tape that I had, um, I had, like, little bits and pieces, and I didn't really want to throw them away. So, I came up with this little guy here, and it's actually just bits and pieces of washi tape in the background. And then I also had some link, some ink, excuse me, guys left over from when I was coloring my Tim Holtz washi uh, tissue tape. So I just sprayed a little bit of water in that and I picked up the rest of the ink that was on there. So that's how I ended up with that orange on the background. And then I went over it a little bit with that freaky Franken lime from Lindy's. And then the reason why it looks like that it kind of looks like splatters it's because I don't know if you guys, you know, have ladies, heard of ladies or anything like that, but these actually are dauber tops. So when you splat on them, you can do really, really cool techniques with them. I, I, I love these things. They're awesome. So I just used some more of that Tim Holtz ephemera. And then this little sticker here is the same set as this it was where the um, little spider came from. And let me see if I can grab that one real quick. I put all my stuff back in, all my Halloween stuff back into this home. So this is the sticker set here, and it says Gothic, and it's called Industrious Stickers. And this is the Gothic themed one. So it has the spiders, the spider webs, it has some cute little owls, and then that's where I got the chain link, and it has some cute little borders and stuff. So I use that as well, you guys. Thank you, guys for stopping by and coming to see my project for this week's one word collaboration i had so much fun playing i'm telling you guys i had to do major research because i did not know what i was going to do with this washi tape <laughs> but i had so much fun playing you guys so thank you for stopping by leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about my cute little atcs that i made and make sure you check everybody's description and everybody's links down before in the description. And go show everybody some love. Okay, guys? Bye.